What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you some of my most favorite luxury products as of late. Some of these are new and some of them aren't. What is on my face? And this has been a life changer for me, especially if you have, if you have textured or oily skin. This was a recommendation from a good friend who is a makeup artist and uh, she and I will probably be doing a video on how to overcome texture skin with foundation and other products because she's really good at doing that. So this secret right here, and I'm sure maybe some of you know, this is so money for people who have oily or textured skin. So the first product being the Dior Forever Undercover Foundation. So this is a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't look full coverage when you apply it on the face. It immediately blurs any type of pore or texture that you have, especially um, right here is where I get mine. And I do have obviously um, pores and stuff. And then um, the secret, which we all probably know is the Air Flash is amazing. I put this on top of any foundation that I'm wearing and it immediately blurs and perfects the skin like you wouldn't believe. So I repurchased this to get it at a darker shade to match like when I am tan. And so this is 040 and then 4N. So these two together, if you guys are tanning or are more on like the neutral tan side, I think that you will love this. I definitely recommend these two products. I just think that like my skin is perfect. So next thing that I've been enjoying and I put this back into the box just so you guys can um, see it. It's called the Pink Drink from. It's called Pink Drink from Sunday Riley, and this is a resurfacing essence serum. This is what it looks like. Honestly, this is really great for perfecting the skin as well. I put it on right after I wash. I just spritz it on. It's not a setting spray. You can use it one of two ways. You can melt it onto the skin by pressing it, or you can just spray it. But what I noticed about this is the immediate effects of brightening and evening to my face. And it's just a really nice treatment if you are wanting to perfect your skin. Honestly, Sunday Riley is one of my favorite OG brands. If you are wanting that like immediate resurfacing of the skin, I know you can get it out there in a lot of products. This is a great one to try and it's gentle on the skin as well. Next product that, oh, of course, this is so such old news to you guys, but is the Natasha Glam palette, which I was not even on my radar until I saw Michelle Wong's video, like many of us. And for me, I love neutral and cool tone shades and I've been searching for the most perfect legit cool toned palette and this is only cool tones so um if you are wanting like a holy grail neutral cool tone palette and then that's it you need to purchase this i'm wearing this shade which is center of the lid blend and then smoke um those are the three shades i'm wearing right now every shade in here applies just like that very easy super smooth and metallic if you are looking for a um, luxury palette that won't really break the bank you need to try this i think you'll love it so gucci i purchased two things from the gucci website a while ago and i'm just getting around to sharing it with you but both of these products they melt onto the skin. You don't even need to like really work at it in order to apply the product. It comes in really pretty bougie pa packaging. So the packaging, like the color of the packaging though, gives me like Estee Lauder vibes. And I just think it looks kind of old school. Like something my grandma would have on her countertop. Like it literally reminds me of my grandmother's room. Like I, I could almost smell it right now just looking at this product. This is the bronzer in O2 and she's pigmented, girls. You only need the smallest amount to apply to the face. It's a beautiful, just semi-dark uh, bronzer. So what I like about this one the most from, cause it was, it was between this one and the fair, or not the fair, the light and the light to me, I loved it. It just was really reminiscent of one of the Tom Ford bronzers that I have. So, um, so is this really a must have? You could probably find something very similar. You 
are wanting a new bougie product, you should try this. I mean, even blending it out is easy, just like that. And it applies to your face effortlessly, just gorgeous. I'm wearing it today. It's definitely pigmented, so if you have a tan, this is something that you want. Um, if you're like the least bit light, I don't know if it would work because it's just super pigmented. You can definitely get it in the light shade though. It's gorgeous, I love it. Oh God. A lipstick. This is the packaging again, my grandmother's room, Estee Lauder. I'm not loving it, but so this is the shade. Let me tell you what the shade is. Oh my God, I can't see it. The Painted Veil. And that's it right there. I mean, going into fall, you need this fucking color. It's like perfectly neutral brown rose. It's neutral enough where you could wear it with like a more intense eye. It's stunning. It goes on creamy as shit. It's very blendable and it's just gorgeous. And this is probably the last Gucci lipstick I will buy for a while, but I'm very glad that I did. This is because of my friend, Lisa Lisa D1. I think she showed this in a video a long time ago. And this is from, uh, I never know how to pronounce this brand. Rodeal. But it's the Bronze Glow Drops. It's Rod Rodial, Rodial, I don't know. Like I really literally don't know how to pronounce it. I feel so illiterate. But um, these are pretty amazing. You can wear them on your face or on your body and it's kind of like a dry oil or that's the way that it applies once you apply it. So it absorbs instantly. You're not gonna get any greasiness. It's just illuminating. Oh God. So I'm just going to, so that's the shade right there. It's very neutral and I'm just gonna buff it out so you guys can see. There's some pink tones, but it buffs and it's not too much. Uh, so if you wanted to apply it to your face, uh, you could, and it would look really, really good. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. It really is magic on the face. And I like the texture of it because it's not an oil, like, well, it is kind of an oil base, but it's not greasy. Like it absorbs almost instantly. And it's a really nice, like neutral red shade that it's just gonna go great on a lot of different skin tones. Um, the last thing I got, and this is not something that I have uh, tried on by any means, but I love the color and it's perfect for fall. This is the new blush from Chanel. And this is, uh, let's see, it's just illuminating blush powder. I don't really know the name of it or if it comes with the name. No. Le Le Chains de Chanel. Les Chains. Ugh, I just totally botching that. It's just a really nice, um, it goes on way less dark. It's almost like a shimmery pink. And you can build blush from Chanel. And this is, uh, let's see, it's just illuminating blush powder. I don't really know the name of it or if it comes with the name? No, La, La Chains de Chanel, Les Chains. Ugh, I just totally botching that. So this is what that looks like. It's just a really nice, um, it goes on way less dark. It's almost like a shimmery pink and you can build it up super nicely. Do you see that? Like it's really pretty. It's, you could wear it on the eyes. It would bring out blue eyes beautifully and it's not super dark. Like it looks dark in here, but once you apply it and share it out, it's stunning. So I definitely think that you guys should. Oh, and it just blends out so beautifully. So, so pretty. I really like this as well. Okay, that is all for my new favorite luxury products. You must purchase. I will put the links below. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.